TRX bow suit progressions I like to use for push-ups. Now, a lot of people do push-up exercises, and there's some really cool ways that you can make them harder. I'm going to start with some basic uh, TRX push-ups today, then I'm going to show you two different grips I use. I'm going to show you a push-up plus position, and then we're going to flip it dome side up as well, and I'm going to show you an offset push-up that you can do with a TRX, and then I'm going to show you a dome push-up for so it's really challenge your stability. It's much more difficult because of the unstable surface of the bose itself. So I'm going to walk you through these progressions. Now one of the things I want you to keep in mind as you do these push-ups, you want to be able to master a traditional push-up in the TRX first. You want to be sure you can do a uh, suspended TRX chest press, move to a suspended TRX push-up on the floor before you think about integrating the BOSU. BOSU is a great tool, don't get me wrong, but you want to make sure that you have good stability. You want to make sure you can stabilize your core. Make sure you keep your back flat. You want to move as one unit with your body as you do these today. So uh, I'm going to get into the TRX. I may have a couple of teaching points as we go along. I'm going to show you just a couple of reps at each one of these that will match uh, the descriptions on the blog and give you something to try out the gym. All right, so you're typically going to start here. I like to go wide and we'll go shoulder width. Typically like the hands to be below the shoulders when you get in here. You want to make sure that you feel good about where you are in terms of length away from the pendulum, if you will. Uh, you, could be, you could start closer or right underneath. I'm going to start here. So you're going to come up. You want to steady yourself. And you're just going to try to stay still and work on a push-up. Okay, now I typically am going to tell you not to lower below where the elbow is at 90 degrees, just for safety. From this position, if you want to work on uh, scapular stability or shoulder issues, you can also add what I call push-up plus, where you're going to really round and protract the shoulder blades at the top. Maybe a little difficult to see on the video, uh, but we're going to give it a shot here. Okay, so we're really trying to protract the shoulders there at the top. Now moving on, more advanced version of this push-up, flat side up, we'll go narrow grip. Going in narrow is going to put more stress on the triceps and the chest, take a little off the shoulders. Okay, again trying to keep the body still as you do that. Now we're going to move to the offset push-up. All right, so typically one hand on the floor, one on the BOSU. Offset meaning they're not particularly equal. So I typically will offset the BOSU hand forward. Just push up. You're going to your suspended position. Okay, great for shoulder stability. Last one I'm going to show you here, dome push up, double hands. Really challenging, both hands on the BOSU. Okay, you're going to have a lot of perturbation about the hand and the wrist. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, five great exercises you can combine. As you can see, I'm sweating. Just in that short period of time, it takes a lot of exertion, a lot of focus, a lot of concentration. Great way to work, scapular stability, core stability, just with traditional push-up exercise. So if you have fun with those, try those out at the gym and enjoy.